Hello out there. Welcome to my channel. Look what I got. The new Daily Harvest. It's pineapple smoked paprika. It's a sweet potato flatbread. Because some of their flatbreads are like cauliflower and, you know, other things. So, this is made with sweet potatoes. And so, the main ingredients are sweet potato, arugula, pineapple, red onion, tomato, and smoked paprika. And so, I went ahead and baked it. I believe 450 for 20 minutes. I baked it for what it said. Whatever it says is what I baked it. This is what it looks like. And I know I smell fall flavors. Um, yeah, it just reminds me of the fall, like, very, like, uh, I don't know, it just reminds me of the fall. There's a lot going on here. I've had pretty, pretty much all their flatbread except for this one and then one other one. But I reviewed them all. So. Hmm. There's a lot of flavors going on. The crust, oh, now the heat's coming finally. Oh, it's nice and warm. I really like it. Um, hmm. The crust is amazing. It definitely tastes like sweet potato, but not too sweet. And then you get like this tomato, concentrated tomato. And then the weird thing is like, I started tasting and smelling cinnamon. I know we don't like pineapple on pizza, but I wouldn't call this a pizza pizza either, you know? I mean, it almost tastes like I'm tasting coffee. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's some weird flavors going on here. Date syrup, tomato paste. There's allspice. Didn't I say like fall flavors? Chipotle. Porcini powder. There is a lot going on. Smoked paprika, organic maple syrup, coffee, organic coffee concentrate. There's coffee in here. Really interesting. I have all the Daily Harvest stuff, and I've had a lot. I've never had anything from them that had this much flavors. I love Indian food, and Indian food, like, as I eat it, personally, the different flavors are coming through if it's, like, layered. What I like about this, a lot of these flavors don't sound like they go together, like, allspice, and cinnamon, and tomatoes, and then pineapple, arugula. Like, to me, if someone said that, you know, I made a pizza with all this, I'd be like, mm-mm. But the flavors are not all mixed up. Like, they're coming through at intervals on the palate, like layers. Um, and at the end, you get the warmth and the heat. I wish there was more red onions. I mean... Mmm. It's sweet. It's savory. Some of it tastes kind of odd. But overall, this is actually one of my favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite, favorite flat bread, flat bread from them. But it's one of my favorite. And, uh. I really don't like cooked arugula. I also don't like cooked avocado. It's got a lot of arugula on it. Obviously, it's cooked. 
but the bitterness of the arugula gives it like a really good base because of all the sweet stuff going on, the maple syrup and the pineapple. The more I eat this, the more I like it. Uh, daily Harvest products are not like that. They're weird. I don't like them as I eat them more and more. They don't grow on me at all. Mm. I'm definitely going to get this again. I know sometimes you can get like hot stuff. You want to come back for more. There's something going on here with the sweetness that like you get the, the heat at the end and then you want to break up that heatness and then when you bite into it, you get the sweet pineapple. There's so much going on here. Really good. Really good. I know my reviews are long and I'm working on being more, uh, you know, I'm working on that, but this is turning more into a mukbang, right? Because I mean the whole thing. But the only thing I'm not crazy about is when I smell it. I smell cinnamon and allspice. And like, I'm just thinking like of a, like something sweet, sweet. You know, like, I know like a dessert. And then this is like some savoriness to it. Mm, and I don't know how about I feel about the coffee. But. But yeah, the main ingredients is sweet potato, arugula, pineapple, tomato, yellow onion, garlic, vinegar, red pepper, date syrup, tamari paste, garlic puree, tomato paste, salt, paprika, maple syrup, uh, coffee, I'm skipping around at the main flavors, you know. Psyllium has to hold together. Check this out. White pepper, organic coriander seeds, organic mustard seeds, organic porcini powder, chipotle, cinnamon, allspice. Wow. Maybe they finally hired someone because some of Daily Harvest stuff, like the flavors are like, what was you thinking? Um, maybe they hired someone that knew what they were doing on this because the only thing is like I think some of these flavors though that they didn't have to need to add like did you have to add coffee to this like that's just um but I kind of taste the coffee well I did at one time I don't really taste it now no I do a little bit the tomato, though, like, it comes through every once in a while. It kind of goes away. Another flavor comes in and it goes away. It's almost like I'm eating, like, a buffet of, like, different things. But instead of them all mashing together and making one flavor that tastes horrible, the flavors, for somehow, they're separated in here. Like, you get a taste of this, a flavor of this, a spice of this. All the spices and flavors are not all mixed up together and just taste weird. Like, as you're eating it, you're tasting individual flavors. A lot going on here. Um, I'm going to give this a solid um, 7.8 out of 10, and I'll definitely get it again. So until next time, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what other foods you want me to try, but that's only to my subscribers. And... Until next time, I really hope you have an awesome day. Right, bye-bye.